What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're going to be going over BitClout. What is it? Is it a scam or is it the newest thing? Check it out. All right, guys. Now, big clout, big clout, and more big clout. What is it? You've been seeing it all over Twitter and probably on some Reddit uh, boards. What's big clout? I know when I first saw it, I was like, "What's this?" And then I started looking through it, and I was like, "This doesn't seem right." It's like this doesn't seem legit. Uh, and then I started to see people on social media, you know, and like big names popping up in there, like Elon Musk. Uh, I was, uh, I think Shamath started to come out there. I'm like, why, what are these people doing? I was like, I mean, this doesn't look credible. Why would they partake in this? Little to be known that they never really did. I don't know about Shamath. I think Shamath might be in there uh, as like, you know, somebody that supports Big Cloud. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that one. It's just uh, what I think I've seen and read. But I know Elon Musk. I don't think he is anyways. Uh, but the point is that Big Cloud, we're going to jump into an article here with details. We're going to go through it together. But Big Cloud has taken people's profiles from social media and made like a coin or a token or whatever you want to call it with their name. And it's like, oh, yeah, you can buy the 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 elon musk coins and there's x amount of coins and and they're valued at this much and you can buy them and it's like what it is the weirdest thing the weirdest thing so let's go ahead and uh, check into this article here on intelligencer intelligencer I, yeah i think i nailed it i think it intelligencer never seen this uh news nymag.com thing before but anyways let's go ahead and jump into it all right, here is the article on Intelligencer by Jen Weisender. Weisender? I'm sorry, Jen. I, I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Uh, but she's the one who wrote the article here, April 12, 2021. The mysterious influencer stock market worth $1 billion. What? What is that? That is insane. All right, let's check it out. When BitCloud arrived on the internet last month, it befuddled much of the cryptocurrency world. That was not least because the company, which describes itself as not a company, already confused, but a new type of social network. But, I mean, if you make money and it's a business, it's a company. What? How? That's like Facebook saying it's not a company. What are you talking about? A sort of Bitcoin meets Twitter had ripped off some 15,000 profiles of famous people and influencers from the actual Twitter and opened accounts in their names without their permission. <laughs> oh man, how do you even do that? Wells Fargo, didn't Wells Fargo open up like savings accounts for customers without their permission? They got in a lot of trouble for that. Hmm. When President Biden has a coin on Big Lounge, oh, I'm sorry, President Biden has a coin on Big Cloud, you can buy for 3,900 bucks. Though tokens for YouTuber stars like Mr. Beats trade for eight times as much. Well, yeah, of course. Have you ever seen videos on YouTube uh, from Biden? Have you seen the amount of thumb downs those videos get? You might want to look into that. There are coins reserved in the name of Snoop Dogg and Ariana Grande, Joe Rogan, and Beeple. Who's Beeple? Did I just did I just show my age there? Who's Beeple? Beeple, the digital artist. Spanish football clubs and venture capitalists, Jonas Brothers, Kardashians, and Clintons. Even some journalists, including, much to my surprise, myself. So Jen has her own cryptocurrency there made by BitClout without her permission, I imagine. None authorized the creation of their profile nor claimed the coins BitClout set aside for them. Wow. The basic idea behind BitClout is to create a token based marketplace for shares in someone or something's reputation and influence. This sounds a lot like that Black Mirror episode where people were given like points based on their interactions in society and kind of like a social ranking. Kind of feels like that. That's scary. That is scary. Um, that's not good. Go viral on Instagram or something delightful, bull run. Say something stupid on Twitter, could be start of a bear market, but these things are subjective because what's stupid to somebody is not stupid to another person. Uh, the moment we start 
as a society actually putting like let's say um reputation points on people or uh, because of social media it's going to be probably the 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 catapult or the catalyst that really sends society into a direction that is going to be worse than the one we're already going in as a society entirely um this whole cancel thing you know uh, this is kind of like what could lead to uh, a measurement of that not good not good not good um not not good at all i don't like this in theory every public action and utterance from anyone becomes tradable by anyone else i don't like this at all the draw for the for those taking possessions of those profiles at bitcoin at big cloud sorry is about 10 percent of their own coin so like these big cloud made a profile coins and said here they are this is what they cost people buy them if you claim your profile, then you only get 10% of the value. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. What? But the question of what the, of the virtual money is and what is it worth is still an open, an open one. Big Cloud accepts Bitcoin. More than 225 million has flowed in so far. What? They've already made $225 million in Bitcoin? Wow. Wow. But it doesn't have a mechanism yet for taking it out. What? <laughs> what? So like they made, so like, let's say, like, oh, you know what? I see. I'm going to take all this 10% that I have there. Hey, how do I get it out of here? Oh, no, you can't. This seems super scam, scam alert, right? Like put on the sirens. What's going on there? Big cloud access Bitcoin, 25 minutes. Okay. So but it doesn't have a mechanism yet for taking it out. Creating a kind of crypto roach motel. That's funny. And while cryptocurrency typically lives secularly on a blockchain, BitCloud's holdings reside on its own server, making some people wonder who really owns the money. Perhaps the most suspicious part, though, to many outsiders was the instances the instance by big clouds founder that they themselves remain anonymous of course because we know that you know being anonymous and starting you know 225 million dollars held by somebody anonymous is going to end well with the ceo answering only to diamond hands this stuff writes itself <laughs> his money moneyker on the platform okay it has all added up to a sense among many sophisticated tech observers that there is something in the words of one venture capitalist who was pitched to by the founders borderline scammy borderline scammy talk about uh, in my opinion this is one giant scam one giant scam all right not borderline scammy in my opinion this big cloud stuff is one giant scam and yet big clouds backers have poured they have the backers what more than 100 million into it they include a roster of blue chip silicon valley venture capitalists and andreessen horowitz sequoia social capital along with high profile crypto investors digital currency groups and the wink winkle loves twins winkle Winklevoss, Winklevoss twins. Man, these are some big names. Did you guys vet this correctly? And then don't don't come in the comment section and tell me, oh Jesse, of course they have these awesome teams. They vetted things. Yeah, okay, Damon the Shark backed uh freaking what's his face, Jason Bond. We know how that ended up for Jason Bond. So he obviously wasn't vetted that great. So did these people vet these? Did, did these organizations vet this big clout thing? The anonymity Big Cloud Founders has assumed is an apparent homage to Sato, 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 Satoshi, Satoshi Nakamoto. All right. This is obviously the guy who, you know, everybody thinks founded Bitcoin, whose true identity has never been revealed. But the decisions to hide who he is surprised some of Big Cloud's own investors. After all, it wasn't Diamond Hands who pitched them, but a familiar entrepreneur named Nadar Al Naji, best known for starting an ambitious but but unsuccessful cryptocurrency company several years ago, several years earlier. Al, 
using his real name, began posting job listings for new operations sometimes last fall. But since launching BitCloud, he has refused to confirm his identity even to reporters who have interviewed him. He did not respond to multiple messages seeking comments, sent both to accounts under Al Naji's name as well as Diamond Hands and to BitCloud itself. Wow, bro, like this is insane. This is pretty insane. Let's skip a little bit of this and, and, and read further down. Is that is that the end of the article? No. Some of the people whom BitCloud created accounts not only have little interest in claiming them, but are actively trying to distance themselves from the whole affair. A California law firm called Anderson Kill has sent Al Naji a cease and desist letter demanding that the names and likeness of their client, Brad and Curtis, a Bay Area tech executive be removed from the site. Meanwhile, James Perswich, a San Francisco-based crypto entrepreneur, says his profile suddenly disappeared after he complained loudly enough on Twitter. At least one big cloud own, own investors, Scooter Bruns to Q, TQ Ventures, has had their profile scrubbed from big cloud. The VC who passed who passed says he's glad he did since they since then they've acted scammy he says so people are actually able to get this off like if you have a profile of big cloud and you didn't okay this and you complain and you make enough noise apparently you can get it deleted this smells of scam i'm not going to continue reading the article guys i'll leave a link down there for you you can go in there and jump on in and read it yourself this screams screams of a scam of a scam uh, of ever proportions right now um be careful with this uh, i'll leave the link in there so you can read more about it i will not touch this with a 10 foot pole i'm staying away from this thing um that's gonna be it guys i'm gonna leave the link down there for you let me know your thoughts on this big cloud stuff seems scammy what do you think smash the like button for me subscribe to the channel if you haven't hit the notification bell so you're alerted when i upload my next video and i'll catch you on the next one